While you're visiting San Francisco, you'll probably want to get that requisite photo of the Golden Gate Bridge. Free Tours by Foot is here to help you get there and find the best places to take your photo. To drive there or use public transportation, we suggest using Google Maps to find the Golden Gate Bridge Welcome Center. The Welcome Center itself doesn't have much parking, but there are ample parking opportunities nearby. Our suggestion is to park at the Battery East lot off Lincoln Boulevard. Why is it our favorite? Well, it also has stunning views of the bridge without having to walk far from your car. You can also park at Fort Point, another photo op. But to get to the entrance of the bridge, you'll face a 15 minute walk uphill. If you're visiting on the weekend, you may find inexpensive paid parking at the employee lot or free parking at Chrissy Field, though this has another uphill walk. Even with all the parking options nearby, we still suggest taking one of the many buses that will bring you to the south side of the bridge from anywhere in the city. From the popular attraction Fisherman's Wharf, it is only a 25 minute bus ride and there's a stop right there at the toll plaza of the bridge. Once you're there, you can drive, bike, or walk across the Golden Gate Bridge. Driving across is pretty self-explanatory, and if you want to make a day of biking over the bridge, visit our post on how to do that in the link in the description below. If you want to take a stroll across, pedestrians have access to the East Sidewalk, which is accessible from the Golden Gate Bridge Welcome Center. Why not take our self-guided tour along with you? You can learn more about the bridge and what you'll see along the way. You can access the footpath only during the day. It opens at 5 a.m. year-round, but closes at 6.30 p.m. in the winter and 9 p.m. in the summer. The bridge is a beautiful entryway to the San Francisco Bay every day of the year. However, there are times when the bridge can be socked in with fog, making it a bit harder or even impossible to see these majestic views. July and August have the greatest chance of a windy, chilly, and foggy day. But hey, that's quintessential San Francisco. But you wanted to know where to get those Instagram-worthy photos. We have four favorite spots. You can get to all of these on foot. Two are on the San Francisco side, and two are on the north side by the Marin Headlands. If you want to see them all, you can walk over the bridge from south to north, but it's about two and a half miles. If you just want to walk out on the bridge a bit and turn around, from any of the photo stops, it's about a 15-minute walk to the bridge itself. So really, you can choose how much walking you want to do today. One of the best views is our suggested place to park, a small parking lot called Battery East, just off Lincoln Boulevard by the Visitor Center. Here you'll get a nice view of the entire bridge and the Marin Headlands across the strait. There's also Fort Point, which offers a view level with the water looking up at the bridge. You can park here if you don't mind the walk uphill to the bridge itself. To get that postcard view of the bridge with San Francisco skyline in the background, you need to be on the north side of the bridge, in the Marin Headlands, looking back across the water to San Francisco. There's a small parking lot at the Golden Gate Bridge Vista Point if you're lucky. If you can't find a spot here, you can park at the Trailhead Parking and take a 15 minute walk to the Vista Point. Yes, you can see the view from the parking lot, but you're already here, so you might as well go get that perfect shot. It's worth the half mile walk. The last vantage point, also on the north side, the Moore Road Pier at Fort Baker gives you another water level view, and it gives you the chance to get some bridge only photos. So there you have it. All you need to know on how to visit the Golden Gate Bridge on foot. Be sure to join Free Tours by Foot on any number of our walking tours and visit our website to plan out your trip to San Francisco.